Up next, we continue our interviews with the new administrators at Phoenixville High School. On this segment, Mrs. Nicole Salado discusses her role as assistant principal. She talks about her goals and expectations and the transition from teacher to administrator. Max Gilmore is the interviewer, and it starts right now. All right, Mrs. Salado, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So our first question here, um, by this point the school year is well underway, and how's it going so far for you? Uh, I think it's going really well. I mean, it's, it's very exciting to be in this role. It's very different. It's busy, but uh, school's always busy, so I think that it's going well so far. It's been a pretty smooth year since we've started. Tell us a bit about your responsibilities specifically. Okay, well this year I am the um, senior administrator, so I'm in charge of pretty much anything senior related. So um, senior discipline, senior meetings, uh, senior projects, graduation, uh, anything that has anything to do with seniors. I also am the uh, administrator for 11th graders for the alphabet A through F. So. Um, any of those students, you know, any scheduling changes or anything that, you know, they need from me, I'm also there for them too. What do you like best about being an administrator and what are some of the challenges it brings? Well, I think the, the best part about it is that every day is different and uh, I never know what to expect. So I walk in, I have certain things on my calendar and, you know, they could change instantaneously. So it's always very different. Um, you know, I, I just, I like, I like the idea that, you know, that there's a lot to do, it's busy, uh, which is also a bad thing sometimes too, because it's overly busy, but um, I like to be busy. I think I work well when I have a lot going on, so uh, it's good in that respect, and bad in that respect, so. Um, tell us a bit about the transition from teaching English to being an administrator. What has that been like, and what are some of the adjustments you've had to make? Okay, well, I think that, um, you know, being an English teacher is a lot about communication, and I think that being in this role, uh, communication is key. You know, that's really what I'm doing, is communicating with people and for different reasons and in different areas. Um, so that's been helpful. Um, but, you know, I also think that uh, it's, it's different. You know, when you're an English teacher, you have students in front of you. Uh, the expectations are pretty much the same every day. Um, and in this role, my expectations uh, for both myself and, and the students could be very different for, for various days depending on what's going on in the building. How do you think that teaching experience that you have helps as an administrator? Well, it's funny because a lot of people say that it's hard to be an administrator in the building that you were teaching. Um, and I, I can understand why they would say that, but I also think that it's beneficial, or at least for me it's been beneficial because um, you know, I have knowledge and understanding of how the building runs, uh, how things work here, um, you know, what are some of the needs that we may have. So I kind of had like the inside scoop from the teacher's perspective going into administration to be able to really uh, understand not, I didn't have to learn the building. You know, some of my colleagues have had to come into the building. They've had to learn how Phoenixville works before they can actually do their job. And I've been fortunate enough to already have known how Phoenixville works for the past 10 years so that I could kind of hit the ground running. What are some goals that you would like to achieve this year? Okay, well, I mean, as an administrative team, we have, uh, we have some goals, you know, that our team has set up. Um, with some project-based learning that we would like to see our students accomplish, um, and then some things for our teachers. Uh, personally, I would like to uh, really have a, an integral knowledge of, of what an administrator does and, and have a successful year in that respect, um, and also to you know, have the students really um, have a positive experience here at Phoenix Valley High School and, and you know, understand that, that I'm here to help them to be successful. You know, that, that we as an administrative team, that's our job, is to, to help fix things that they need to, to be successful. And, and so my goal was really to, you know, try to interact with everyone, not just my seniors or my A through F juniors, but everyone in the building and, you know, and give them what they need for them individually to be successful. I mean, you're always working with the faculty, students, administration, all that. Um, what are some of the requests and demands that they have, and how do you manage all of that? Well, time management is key for administration. There are a lot of uh, balls in the air, a lot of things to do. But I think that um, just trying to prioritize, making sure they understand what's immediate, what's necessary, um, and then going from there. So if I, if I have a student that needs me and it's something that is pressing and, and an emergency, obviously that's gonna you know, bump to the top of my priority list. Whereas something that may 
need to be done in a couple of days can be put off. So I guess it's really trying to find that balance of what's immediate and what needs to happen right now, or, or what can happen in, in a little bit of time. So in terms of working with the students, what can they expect from you as an administrator? Okay, well, I, I think consistency. I mean, I, I'm definitely a consistent person. Um, they can expect that I will help them to hopefully achieve success. I'm here for them, and, and that's really my role. My role is to try to uh, facilitate anything that they need while they're in this building. So they definitely can come to me if they need anything, and I will do whatever I can to help them out. Um, you know, I am I'm compassionate and I'm caring, but I also think that, you know, I hold stu students accountable too. So you have that, uh, you know, that mix between being a disciplinarian and being a parent. And I think that I, I try, at least I try to um, hold a pretty nice balance between those, those two aspects. You talked a bit about the expectations you have for students. Would you like to go into more detail about that? Sure. I think that um, students are here, you know, they're here to learn, and they're here to learn. Uh, my goal for, for students here is to be able to be successful after they leave us. Um, it's not just getting good grades here or being involved in clubs and activities, but um, what, what skills do they need to be successful in the world after high school? And it really depends on the student. So some students need to be successful really primarily in academics or, or socially or in art or whatever it may be. Um, you know, and that's kind of what you know, I, I expect from them. I expect them to you know, follow the rules. I expect them to come to school. I expect them to get involved, have a good time, learn, uh, and, and get those skills that they do need to be successful in, in, in their next, you know, in their future endeavors, whatever they may be. One last question we have for you. Uh, tell us something about yourself that the students in the community in general might not know. Um, I just started doing CrossFit. <laughs> that would probably be something. Um, you know, I like to be active. I, I like to work out. I like to um, be outside. And I like to lift weights and run. And I think it's a very import of, uh, important part of being just a healthy individual, you know, both physically and mentally. I think it's very important. So that would be something probably that not everybody knows about me. All right, Ms. Salato, thank you for talking to us today. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, Max. Take care. Thanks. You too.